Welcome back adventurers to Heaven's Vault. In the last episode we landed on this desolate moon on the heels of uh, Renba and we learned a lot of things and we found a few artifacts and uh, I had... Oh look at that! There are even more things that we haven't seen yet. That yet there's a carving. And I had also uh, with the new translation some theories about the language that I didn't apply yet. So let's look at it. We found a dagger. I think there's not much we can do about about that translation yet. But there was a carving above the hearth that we could translate. And uh, we found that ancient crown. And here I had the theory that, uh, I think it was here, um, yeah, that this combination together with another one that we saw uh, at something else must be we, not guardian. Ah, here, I. I think these are the pronouns. And uh, I had the theory that this symbol stands for people people and gods. So if, is, if there is a person uh, or the, the word means a person that we have, then we have that symbol in the beginning. And I think this indicates verbs. And thus, this is also wrong because this would be a person too, if my theory is right. But here we have a verb, for example, we have these two lines. Um, so I'm going to try and correct that. Um, which translations are some we have to correct? I think, yeah, I'm not sure at all about the stars here. This was on the uh, chest lid and most probably it has something to do with treasure. But I'm pretty sure that that word for light is correct. So why do we have then here the rays? I mean, treasure can blink, right? But still, why would anybody inscribe the lid of a treasure chest with, hey, this is a treasure chest? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. So yeah, I'm not sure about that, but let's see, that was scra scratched on the wall. Ah, here, uh, here I think uh, this is I and it is correct. And we have then we with a plural indicator here. Um, that would be a verb, watched that could be correct and that would be a person the stranger because the word for goddess we know and i'm pretty sure about that so we leave that as it is um do we know more about that tablet yeah now we have a we here but we do not know about the other words Oh, that's how we confirm things. I did not know that. That is pretty crazy. Huh. But we were right with the I and we. I love that. We cannot should, would, sail, free, over, home, together. We cannot sail together, we cannot sail home. Or we should sail together? I don't think we can find out this one without um, other inscriptions. And, uh, oh right! The purple robe. 
Um, this is also pretty wrong, I'm sure, because here we have the person indicator, so it must be pilgrims. We pilgrims pray, because that's a verb. Or we follow. Hmm. I leave pray because that's the holy, the word for holy or God in that case. And prayer and God and blessing, that's all, uh, has all the same root. Now, do we have anything else that we have to correct? No, we know these. Holy water. So I think that is all we can correct. And we even found out some definite words. If we now look at the dagger. Which is also one of these that should confirm words. Ah, uh, we know Empress already. Okay. But is fire the proper word? Huh. Maybe not. That's interesting. I was pretty sure about that because it was above the hearth. Hmm. Interesting. So we have to learn more. Let's see what that carving is all about. There's something carved above the door. I'm going to have to guess the whole thing. Oh, because she doesn't know these words for sure. We had that before and we connected it with um, the nebula. Yeah, here in that constellation. Um, these seem to be an indicator for nouns. Birth, danger, way, night. These are all nouns though. That doesn't help much. Into will, cannot, from. Wasn't that on the dagger? Light into night? It's above a lintel. What would make sense? sense? Huh. A buff. No, if that is an indicator for a noun, then it's either light or death. Hmm. I do not know. So maybe light is wrong. Cannot pass, maybe? But then it would be dark. Hmm. I do not know. No. Light on your way? As a goodbye kind of thing? Yeah, some kind of blessing. Hmm. But then, on the way out, not on the way in. There was a tripod on the roof, empty now. But it looks like it might have held something once. What kind of something? I would guess a telescope. 
This must have been some kind of outpost observatory. An interesting theory, mistress. But I cannot imagine what they wanted to observe. The nebula? Oh. Did somebody try to plant something here? There's an inscription here. Oh, one of the confirming ones. This is one end of a fractured fragment of text. We had that on the lintel. Huh. That doesn't seem to be right. Off. I'm feeling confident about my translation of light. And that little tick mark is definitely off. Yes! That leaves one word to guess. Light of day. Or sun. Oh, then maybe that is day and that is night? There can't have ever been much light here. Not in all this fog. Huh. I forgot also one room inside. Back here. What's that? There's the wood. Oh, it's a kitchen. But I don't understand why Renba would have come out here. There's nothing to find. Well, we, we found so much. Nothing anymore. But there was a body. And the crown. And all those other things uh, with the uh, eagle and sun motive on. It's now a set. We have the brooch, we have the um, crown, we have a dagger, and we have the robe. So, that's not nothing. The building won't actually cave in on us, will it? I cannot guarantee that, mistress. It was made by farmers. I'm pretty sure they knew what they did. I wonder if this door is jammed. Or if it might... Open? It might. A painting! Look at this! swirls and flows these are rivers the detail who lived here who drew this these look like the rivers of ghosts wake this must be where the fractured ring and the box came from but no one goes to ghosts wake so are these people? Perhaps what side will have some answers. I could look at this area and try to find more artifacts. Or I could explore other avenues until something else. Yeah, so what I wanted to say. When there was the Empire. The Holy Empire. Where all these, um, maybe not all, and the statue, the statue's not, but all the artifacts come from or date into, yeah, crown, fashioning of eagle-shaped brooch, uh, the cooking pan, and uh, the 
dead use. They are older. But when the empire collapsed, maybe they had... Or, I don't know, there must have been some places in this region that were um, important to the empire. And I don't know if Ajax was uh, back in the empire the capital or something, if you could call a moon a capital. And uh, there was, I don't know, maybe the burial site or something where they had their artifacts. Or maybe even another main moon, a uh, royal moon or whatever. Uh, so when the empire collapsed, maybe they fled to that rural site. And uh, we found a descendant of the last um, empress. What about that theory? Can we do or find anything else? <gasps> Look at that! There! The gecko! I love it! Is it alive? Oh! <laughs> I could slip through here. Well, try. I cannot, mistress. I'll be right back. I'll cope somehow. Hmm. In the yard behind the house, there were tools. Plots of earth, washing hung out to dry. It was like the owner had slipped inside for a quick rucker before they came back to chop more wood. Someone had been building a life on this miserable rock. Yeah and someone in later times, right? This is recent. Whoa, look at that. And she really likes Rucker. <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh, a tomb. Let's first explore these things. Bone dry. Okay, maybe not that recent. Garden beds. Something must have been able to grow here once. Though I cannot see how. Yeah, where did the water come from? I don't think Shaniki found the crown. So why did he come here if not for the crown? Maybe he just wasn't as greedy as you and didn't take it. Huh. Finding out what happened here is so much more interesting than the crown itself. Some kind of marker? I think this is definitely a tomb. Definitely isn't natural. Ancient wood. Something hanging. There's something here. A necklace. What are these things? Don't take it! Flat beads, ceramic. I'm not sure. She took it. The sticks are all but petrified. I can't even rot out here. But there's something cut into it. I've not encountered either of these words anywhere else. These words look a little similar to each other. So this might be... So we have day and we think the other one is night. We have to find out what, what these mean. These little X's there. They are everywhere now. They're in stranger and in this word. This is a verb, if our theory is correct. But 
buried, remember or rest. Hmm. Forever, rest forever, remember forever, never forget. If it is a tomb, I would guess, and I have to guess here, never... Forget. This is a grave. I mean, we knew that before. I wonder if whoever dug that grave believed in the loop. Like they do on Ajax. The lupists say that to be a reborn, a soul must return to the rivers. Burying someone prevents them from coming back. It's the worst thing you can do to your enemies. Oh, well, that is interesting. But it totally makes sense. Hmm. Now the question is, is this a recent tomb? Or is that fresh? Is that the one who died in the house? So someone died here and someone else buried them. But not Renba. The wood is far older than that. He could have used old wood. Thing is, is the dug up earth fresh? So is the, is the tomb itself fresh? Wood can be old and re reused. There's a lot of here. So who is buried outside then? Whoever owned this place first, perhaps, before it was taken from them? Hmm. Was it taken? Not so sure. Yeah, but that's really interesting. There should be a photo option to document what we see and what we find. If she's an archaeologist. <laughs> She should make much more notes and measure things and photograph them. And not take all the stuff. Now it's not in situ anymore. First document, then put it in a plastic bag. <laughs> I'm coming back, Six. You found a grave, mistress? I think so. I think someone came to this moon and buried its inhabitants. So two people died here. One upstairs, who was buried outside. And then later another by the fire below. Three people, mistress. Do not forget Renba, assuming he is in fact dead. Oh, we do not know that. What is that on the floor? A plate. Okay. I think that gecko is dead too. It's not moving. Okay, I think we have found everything inside the house. Let's explore the vicinity. And... I think we have to... Are you ready to go now, mistress? No! There's still more to do here. We cannot leave. We have to find the wreckage. And we have to explore that. Uh, no, we have... Though it would have once been opened though. Oh no, I didn't read the first line here. A channel. Maybe an irrigation channel. So there used to be water. 
a rock inscription. This is so exciting. There's something carved into the rock. This is the end of a longer inscription. Oh, now we will know if the river is right. That is good. Hmm. So this is wrong. So my translation cannot, doesn't feel right. Yeah. This one has a lot of symbols, but I'm sure it's right. Yeah, I knew the river is, is proper. Hopefully I can make some better guesses for the rest of this. What do we have here? Strong earth darkness trickle. I mean, rivers could trickle. From rivers. Will rivers? Will. But this cannot be a verb. This could be earth. I don't think the treasure there is right. <laughs> Will rivers earth? Mm, but this could be earth because of the plants. And to be buried has also to do with earth. And the treasures might just be wrong. So. From rivers. Earth. From. Huh. I'm not so sure. We can go back there, so let's first investigate the channel. This channel natural? Is this channel natural? I don't think it is. Dug out. There must be a wellspring here. A feeble one. One that requires every drop to be used. But it caved in somehow here. Water would have run down the channel, right past the house. Imagine having a stream of your own. Not a bad way to live, right? If you can withstand the soul-crushing loneliness. But they weren't lonely, they were at least two. If they lived at the same time, that is. Uh-oh, there's a wreckage. What is a wellspring anyway? A source, mistress. Nothing more. A source of what? Commonly water. Also air. Makes sense. There's another inscription. Is that a single word? A word? Most likely not. Ancient scribes don't always trouble to put in their spaces. I don't think they expected their writing to be read. There's the emperor, then a verb that we do not know. Oh, will we learn if this is the nebula? That isn't. Why does she tell me? <laughs> oh, that is so mean. Empress. Oh, if we have day and night. I think this is night. So, day. 
I chose this translation for a reason. Let's see if I can remember what it was. Yeah, this is night. Light from night. It doesn't really make sense. Oh, light is proper. Right. Light into night. Then this. Now to work out what the other words mean. Yeah, then this can be today. Emperor's sleep today, <laughs> live today. It's a verb if we follow our theory. Emperor's live today, Emperor's here. What were emperors doing out here? Haha! -ha. If our theory is right, it makes total sense. Let's explore everything else before we go into the shrine. There's nothing. The shrine was built here. Is the stone inside for mercy? No, mistress. I do not know where it is, where it is from, but Mercy does not have stone like that. Let's look at it. Ooh. There's a figure inside a figure. That's interesting. A stone pedestal with someone in it. Oh, that's the water goddess. From Mercy. It's the same as the statue on Mercy. Indeed, Mistress. Mistress, you can recognize her by her hat. The shrine is made of stone. The figurine is most probably made of ceramics. Oh, she takes it. Simply fashioned, you should tell us a little more about this place. There's an inscription on it. It's impossibly small. This is one end of a broken fragment. The goddess. Oh, now we will learn if that is right. Blesses the earth. I'm certain my translation for goddess is right. I knew that. Another long one, but I'm confident blessing is also right. Now let's take a stab at that new word. Plants. These symbols are somewhat like my word for earth. Right. Does goddess bless plants make sense? Absolutely. For a rural community, it does. The shrine itself is made of stone, but it's not the same stone as the moon itself. Is it as old as the building? The outer structure is certainly, but the stone pillar, no. The buildings here are significantly older than the pillar. Hmm. Brought by a later occupant then, whoever it was who buried the original occupant, maybe. Moving it to this moon must have been difficult. Got to make so on the map. Perhaps it's from the moon in Ghost's Wake we saw on the map. Perhaps so, mistress. 
But if so, it has walked a long way to be here. Yeah, indeed. But that is pretty awesome. Man, we learned so much today. So cool. I would uh, calculate the building is at least 700 years old. Hmm. How do we work that out? I have been observing the rate of weathering on the stones, mistress. Explorating this building is older than the founding of the Holy Empire on Ajax. You know, Six, back on Ajax, they say nothing is older than the Empire. That the Empire and the Fall are all that has ever been. If Ajax does not believe in history, what is it they think you do exactly? And they don't like that I explore it. We heard that before. But that's it for this episode. We found out so much and we learned so much of the language. It is such fun to find out what the words mean and uh, yeah, finding out about the history of this place. Pretty cool. So we will continue in the next episode. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have an amazing, wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.